As we start the discussion of how we're going to think about marketing in the modern digital world, it makes sense to start with the customers and their expectations. As you think about your own behavior as customers, it has changed significantly just in the past five to 10 years. So what are some of the new expectations that customers have of us? First, they wanna be treated as a human being and not as a number. They wanna be understood for their profile, who they are, what they've done with you in the past, and they expect you to remember the entire history of their interaction with your firm. They also expect you to respond quickly. They would say to you, I tweeted 10 minutes ago, why haven't you responded to me? The expectations of where you read a monthly bank statement have now been replaced by almost real-time expectations of interaction. They expect you to be consistent across channels in the experience that they have with you. They need to be able to pick up where they left off, when they're in their shopping cart online, or they're in your store, or when they're calling your call center. The experience has to be seamless and connected across channels. Customers also want to know not only what you sell, but what do you stand for? What is your mission? What is your purpose? Particularly millennial customers are very interested in doing business with companies that connect with what they believe in, what their values are. Related to this is the idea that customers are saying to you, don't just talk to me about your products. Speak to me about my concerns, my passions, my pain points. Address the problems that I'm trying to solve for myself, the goals that I want to achieve. Tell me how you fit into my life as opposed to selling a product to me. In terms of privacy, what customers are saying to us is, okay, I'll give you my data, but what do I get in return? Give me value for my privacy. Privacy is not a religious debate. It's an economic debate. I need to get something in return. When I give Amazon information about me, I get back personalized recommendations and offers. When I rate movies on Netflix, I get personalized recommendations. When I give Google my location, in return I get a more precise map. Lastly, customers are saying, recognize and reward me for my loyalty. Whether it's Starbucks with their loyalty program, or whether it's Amazon, which is really making a difference with its prime program, which is leveraging as a loyalty program. Customers are saying, my relationship is worth something to you. Reward me for the business that I do with you. These high customer expectations are borne out in a survey of customer behavior, where 80% of customers are saying that the experience that they have with a marketer, with a brand is more important or as important as the product that they buy. A similar number are saying that they expect their needs and wants to be understood and that they will take that business elsewhere if they don't value the relationship or the experience that they have with the firm. So what does this mean for marketers? What does this mean for brands? It means that you have to interact with customers now on a personalized basis. You have to figure out how you're going to personalize your communications and your interactions and the experience that you create for your customers. You have to make sure that you create content that is meaningful, that is relevant for what customers are trying to achieve. You have to lead with content they care about, not products that you want to sell. You have to reduce the latency of response, the cycle time between a customer posing a question to you or a query, whether it's done online or offline, and your ability to not only respond, but to close the loop with them to solve their problem. You need to break down organizational silos. Customers are not marketing customers, sales customers, or support customers. They expect all your functions and all your departments to work together. I like to say that customers don't give a damn how you're organized. Your customer experiences need to be omni-channel. There is no such thing as a digital customer experience and a physical customer experience. Customers will choose the channel that they want to interact with you and you need to make sure you are where they expect you to be and that your channels are connected. You need to make sure that you're continuously innovating in your products, in your service, in your customer experience so that staying at the same level 
or having the same experience over time is no longer an option for you. And as far as data and privacy and trust are concerned, these have to be made a priority. Customer transparency, what you're gonna do with their data, how you're going to use that information, it has to be made transparent and you have to respect the covenant that customers have made with you.